just look at you now. How proud you must be, you, you gender critical, trans erasing, self named radical feminists. How proud of the distance you have travelled from gentle, insidious concerns over what bad men might do if life were made even slightly easier, less bureaucratic for trans people. To hear, enabling fascists, undermining women's rights, endorsing sexual abuse. No act, no thought, no falsehood too low if it will assist in the eradication of a minority once tolerated, now unbearable to you. What is it you call us in the supposed secrecy of your forums? Paedophiles and perverts, men with paraphilias, always men, by which you mean trans women, because you cannot bear to admit the existence of trans men, of non-binaries. Yes, you, you with your ridiculous conceits and your lying concoctions, busying yourself with every single aspect of trans life, of my life and the life of my friends, from drugs given to surgeries freely consented to, from language to space to our very right to exist in public places. You want us gone, to no longer be. We've always known that, yet for years it was your dirty little secret concealed from public gaze, hidden often from yourself because you scarce dared admit the viciousness within. Even now, signing up to declarations that would strip trans people of all rights, you cry your crocodile tears and pretend it isn't true. How could anyone, anyone think you wanted other than the best for us poor trans people? And you, British broadcasters, journalists, how proud are you, you pack of unprincipled hyenas, publishing every last concern as though it were gospel truth. Here, a hundred trans people and their friends, five hundred, a thousand, there, a handful, a few dozen, some newborn hateful group whose only reason for being as they want to send trans people to oblivion. Such clever analysis, yet always you fail to uncover the hate that motivates our enemy. You are not neutral in this war, for war it is. Your questions, your debates, your interviews, so superficially reasonable. Tell us again how rigorous your principles are, how you have weighed yourself in the balance of impartiality, and found yourselves not wanting. What? You asked one of those who'd like us gone to check you out. And you are sure they would have been scrupulously fair in their evaluation. What a shame that your scales are so off. You call out our supposed violence, ignoring the violence perpetrated daily against us. You denounce us as ideologues, pretending all the while that those against are ideology free. And now you have crossed the final line, painted targets on our backs, identified some trans women as rapists, knowing full well that in the charged atmosphere of Brexit Britain, someone will act out the logic of that. Someone will come after us with fist or knife or gun. You have not called for our murder, yet you have. And when, as seems daily more likely, a trans woman is murdered for this reason, will you still be proud? Will you celebrate or will you look away and pretend, as you always do, that it was nothing to do with you? As for you, trans brothers, sisters, non-binary sibs, look at you. Look how far you have come and what you might yet rise to. Ten years since, 
you were fractious, fragmented, squabbling children. Still you quarrel. But I have seen more purpose emerge in one hour on social media than I knew ten years ago in weeks of planning. You are not yet fully formed. Yet you are forged by fire in the crucible of hate that is daily directed against you. I have seen you lay down division, work together, care for one another. I have seen you wheel like birds on the wing, turn to face the common enemy and in a moment be up and ready to act. I have seen trans pride on the streets, in London, in Leeds, Birmingham, Brighton. I have seen the impossible, because we were so few, has happened now. We are out and proud. Do not ever forget that. Those who hate us are coming for us now with renewed energy because they are afraid. For the last four years, they have thrown everything they have to throw at us. Dark money, dubious politicians, a deceitful press. And we have not gone away. We are still here, stronger than before, confident in who we are. Us against the world? No because daily I see allies standing up to be counted, speaking up and speaking out. We are not alone, which is why for all their bullying swagger, the haters are afraid. They have not brought us down. They will not tear us down. So yes, trans people, non-binary, gender non-conforming, do not be afraid. Stand proud, for you have much to be proud of. Stand proud and just look at you now.